puzzles, anatomy. Can they coexist? They can. And they should. Puzzles are fun and relaxing, and they're a great way to spend time with friends. Human anatomy is a fun subject. I mean, who doesn't love to learn about the structure of the human body, right? But sometimes the process of learning human anatomy is not so fun or relaxing. So at CanHub, we're all about finding ways to make this process easy and fun. And today we will show you another engaging way to learn the anatomy of the head and neck and even other regions of the human body. And yeah, one that could involve your friends. I am talking about Dr. Livingston's Anatomy Jigsaw Puzzle from Genius Games, a collection of seven puzzles covering all the major regions of the human body with gorgeous illustrations by a certified medical illustrator from John Hopkins University. The puzzles cover the anatomy of the head and neck, the thorax, the abdomen, the right and left upper limbs, and the right and left lower limbs. All seven puzzles connect to form a 10 feet or three meter tall human body. Hello, Guinness World Records? Yeah, 10 feet. I have never seen a puzzle of the human body this size and this beautiful. When we first laid eyes on these, we knew we had to show them to you. So we partnered up with Genius Games and they sent us all seven puzzles. That way we could explore them and share our experience with everyone here on our YouTube channel. So the goal for this video is to see how long it's going to take me to put together this beautiful puzzle of the anatomy of the head and neck. And then at the end, we're also going to look at it and see how it came together. I mean, this is my first time playing around with these puzzles. I am a little bit rusty, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Now, let's be vulnerable here for a minute, people. I am a 35 year old adult man, and I am living my anatomy geek dream right now because looking at this, this is absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to unbox it with you guys, which is what we're going to do next. So here we have the Dr. Livingston's Anatomy Jigsaw Puzzle, the Human Head, Volume 1 of 7, like I just mentioned. It has 441 pieces. The box, I have to say, looks gorgeous. I mean, this looks like an anatomy textbook. It looks so beautiful. Here on the back, we can see here this image of the 10 feet tall human body that we're, we can build if we put together all the seven puzzles. And today, as you can see here, we're going to be focusing on the head and neck anatomy. So this is going to be the part that we're going to be doing on this video. And I am expecting this is going to be around 60 centimeters in length. So I'm hoping this table will be able to, to carry this puzzle, but we're going to find out. Here on the back, you can find a little bit more information about the puzzle. You can see here a little bit of information about the illustrator, the medical illustrator that created the image for this puzzle. There's also a little bit of information here about the section that we're going to be working on. This image says here that the first volume you'll assemble an accurate cross-cut section of the head and neck that gives you a detailed interior view of the cranium and trachea. So as I move and explore here this box, we're going to be opening it up and as you can see here, this gorgeous image showing this cross section of the cranium and the brain. It looks really beautiful. It's a beautiful image, I have to say. We want to be able not only to put this puzzle together, but at the end, learn something with it. So as we do so, we can even recognize the structures here. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Now. Looking at it, I have to say that I believe that I'm going to have to look for pieces that we can then build the edges of the puzzle. And then once I do that, I'm going to then separate these pieces here 
into the different structures that we see here. So probably it's easy to find pieces of the brain and the cerebellum here, then pieces of the skull, then going here with the muscles and the vasculature here. So now what I'll do is open here. Get all these, put all of these here in the box. So what I'm going to be doing now is going through all of these 441 pieces and separating them according to colors, according to shapes as well if you want to do the edges. And what you'll see next is then a time lapse where you'll be able to see every the amount of time that took me to, to put all of this together. So wish me luck. All right, we are done. I'm wearing something different. Yes, because we are filming this on a different day. I had, I spent a few hours doing this beautiful puzzle that we have here. As you can see, this is gorgeous and huge. We're talking about 24 inches here. All of this head is huge. Can you imagine the entire body because we have seven puzzles. So once we complete this, this is gonna be huge and it could look gorgeous on one of these walls. I really love what we have here. Just for a bit of comparison, I have my phone here. I'm just gonna place it next to it. You can see this, my phone, which is an iPhone Max compared to this here. It's huge. This is a beautiful cross section of the head and neck, which shows different structures from the skull all the way to the trachea, as you can see here. And if we use this guy that came here with the box, we can then identify some of the structures that we find here. So this is why this could be a really great tool for you to also add a resource for you to learn human anatomy, because not only as I was doing this, it was an opportunity for me to understand the different structures that we have here because I had to understand now I'm putting together the brain. So I have to put these pieces here that look similar here for the cerebellum. Then I have to put these that have a different shade of pink here for the brain stem. And as I was building this, it gave me a, a bit of an understanding of the relation that these, these structures have for, from one another. Now, at the end, what you can do is use this beautiful image again that I showed you to then identify the different structures. We can start here uh, with this part, which was the part that I started with. If you watch the, pre the time lapse of uh, me putting together this, this puzzle and you can see here the brain in all its glory. So a mid sagittal view where you can identify the cerebellum, you can identify a few important venous structures here like the superior sagittal sinus. You can find here uh, the frontal lobe and the occipital lobe, for example, the corpus callosum, the pituitary gland, brain stem and cerebellum, just a few of the main structures here that you find uh, that are very important for neuroanatomy. Then you can also see here the skull, a cross section of the skull where you can find a few of the important structures or important bones of the skull, like the frontal bone here with the sinus. You see a bit of the sphenoid sinus here. 
You see also a the occipital bone, a cut of the occipital bone. And as we move closer to the face, you can see other structures here, a different cross section here that is quite cool because you can then identify here, for example, the extra ocular muscles. You see the eye as well in all its glory. You can see here the maxilla, the nasal bone, the teeth, of course, and a bit of the mandible. And things get a lot more interesting when we start going down to the structures that we see here on the neck. As you can see, things become a little bit more complex because we're involving muscles with blood vessels and nerves. So things get a bit more interesting and this image depicts them beautifully. So we can identify a few important structures like the sternocleidomastoid muscle here. You see the digastric, you see the hyoid bone here. You see a bit of the trachea, you can identify also an important gland, the thyroid. And here two very important veins, the external jugulars, no, the internal jugular, sorry, and here the external. You can also see a beautiful part here, this muscle, this is the well-known trapezius muscle. So you can identify a lot of structures. As you can see, this is a great opportunity for you to cover all these structures that you find here on the head and neck. And you can even see here on this image, lots of structures that are covered on this gorgeous image. Again, this is a great resource. This is was time well spent looking at these structures and really becoming one with them. Remember that this is one of the seven Dr. Livingston's anatomy jigsaw puzzles. Like I mentioned, together they will make a full human body. And Genius Games is going to be growing this collection and adding new puzzles of organs, a detailed anatomy of the hands and feet. And they even told us that they're working on a puzzle of an illustration showing the anatomy of pregnancy, which should be quite cool. So for everyone who's an anatomy puzzle geek like myself, stay tuned. You can keep track of what's new on Genius Games and even purchase any of the seven puzzles from the Dr. Livingston's collection by simply going to sciencepuzzles.com. But wait, wait, there is something for you. Get 12% off your next purchase using the discount code we left in the video description. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as we did producing it. Tell us in the comments what other puzzles from the Dr. Livingston's collection would you like us to put together on this channel? Like the video so we know you've enjoyed this type of content. And of course, subscribe and activate the notification so you don't miss the next upload. I will see you on the next video. And left, right, right and left, right. We have many rights, many lefts. One day, I hope we can have like a full makeup team so I can just do this and then we have like multiple hands like here. <laughs> Where is my phone? Do you have a phone there? Now we got props. See people? Thank you very much.